because these ladies are playing with supreme effort, and they have not let up at all. Zhu with the bunny. And Ebert is, is part of that. Ebert, born in Chicago, grew up in Alaska, played her college basketball at Oregon. There's only in way down low with the bucket. Hey, Steven, how cool is that? I, he beat me to it. <laughs> we all want selfies with Candace Barton. That's right. Boy, Han Shu has had some good minutes here. Ray already in double figures in this ball game. 90 seconds to go in this first quarter. Nice defense. Han Shu with the quick. Wickham now. Han Shu trying to three and knocks it down. He asked Coach Brondello about that before the game, and she really just focused on the mental aspect of that. And you, you gotta, you can't allow the laps. It's focus. Nice feed, Han Shu with the finish. Nice hands from Shu. Great control. Over to McCallum. Hands once again from Han Shu. Tedesco coming off a 31 point performance against Indiana. Four for 13 tonight. Inside, Harrison has it blocked out of bounds. And Milich is going to have a tough matchup in there right now. There's Whitcomb. And the shot and the make by Han Shu. I like the fact that they executed the play well. The Lynx have been rebounding the ball. Han Shu scores on the pass from Ionescu. She does a nice job of getting the ball to her teammates, though, playmaking. Oh, the shot rattles out, fouls there in a crowd. Doesn't get a good shot off. Jefferson kicks it out, and around they go. Shepard again with it. The drive blocked. And New York comes away with it. Danger field to Whitcomb. Sammy Whitcomb with the ball. Now to Onion Wede. Driving the lane. Ionescu takes the screen from Shu. Shu with a long two point try. Wow, she hits it. It is grabbing that ball away from New York. 12 4 Seattle run, mostly Stewie, but that was a great play. How about Jewel Lloyd standing her ground there? No call, and Han Shu just turns and shoots over Lloyd. January back in. Gabby Williams back in for the storm. Backdoor cut, Whitcomb nicely done, gives it off. Shu puts it up and with some nice touch in there, finishes it. Well, good hands by Shu. Yeah. Sabrina hounded in the corner. She's got to get rid of it and does to Dolson. Over here, Dangerfield, three on the way, off the mark. Nothing but white jerseys in there as Shu puts it back up again and in. Gabby Williams keeps it alive. Nice offensive board. The hustle there. Into the lane. That Ooh. shot's blocked. Rebecca Allen's got three of them tonight. Han Shu might have gotten a piece of that as well. Dangerfield picks it up. Han Shu, uh oh, on Epiphany Prince. That is not a matchup you want if you're Seattle. This pressure from Seattle has paid a lot of dividends so far, though. Davis this time trying to defend the post, and she's having a tough time as well, just like Epiphany Prince did. January driving in against Ionescu. Turns it over. That was one of the few live ball turnovers for Seattle in the last couple of days. Abby Williams, bounce pass, Lavender, good back to cut. Kayla oh. Davis gets rejected by Han Shu and then turns it over. She's just 22 years old. She could be a senior in college. And double team down low. Loses handle of it, gets it back and puts it in. And Natasha coming out as the best offensive player of the game on Friday, and there you go. Of course, as soon as we talk about her, she's going to put it in, right? Get your team in place. Um, those are the two main things that I took away for sure. And, and, you know, this is just one of the many panels and things like this that the WNBA, and specifically the Liberty, put on. Now it's only in way to straight ahead three off the heel. On Sue, the offensive board, the step through and the finish, plus the foul. Han Shu has been on a tear this season. In this second quarter alone. Howard for three. No. Shu. Too easy. Egbo on the drive. Partially blocked by Shu. And it'll go to the Liberty. Goodbye. Over to Ionescu. Ionescu is at a strong third. Han Shu for three. Oh! Han Shu! Burke with the rebound. Burke trying to get something in transition. 
poked from behind was Allen. She's got it now. Up the floor, Wickham. Elizabeth Williams having those six blocks and no fouls. She said, hey, it was a volleyball match going on behind me, and it really affords me a lot of trust, and I can really dig in defensively because of their protection inside. She can climb a ladder now. She can get to the top of the ladder. She's got some bunnies with her. Burke with it. Attacking the paint, lost the handle. Ionescu. Off the double screen. Tries to go over, finds Allen, ends up in the hands of Shu. Finished. I was just going to say, didn't talk too much trash, didn't, wasn't too flashy. She just was going to go out there and do work. Cool. Inside. And um, we had a little clip called Triple Threat in college. And it was awesome. It was super fun. On Zoom. Couple of back-to-back -back buckets. Three straight games since Benaja Laney last season had 20, at least 20, in eight straight ball games. A nice stretch for Yonescu. And there's a nice steal inside. Wide a fourth quarter comeback for New York. Howard, extra pass. Shoo! This is a big drought for Minnesota. Three point ball game. Blocked by Hansu. Still falling. Inside is battled away from Hansu. What a learning experience for the 22 year old battling Sylvia Fowles, who's made some great plays in the fourth. And that's good. One of the better performances of the season for the Liberty. Han Shu, too big inside. Minnesota just cannot find offense here. Han Shu, quick hands in the steal. Shu for three. Off the heel, got her own. Inside, and the bucket. Ten points for the 22-year-old Han Shu. The news with the LA Sparks, yes. Derek Dar Fisher mutually parting ways. That's the second coaching change we've already seen in this young WNBA season. Shu scored on the last possession, does it again. Indiana off to a strong start here this evening. They forced six Liberty turnovers, and Johannes with an off balance three. Shu there with a put back. The renovations that were done here a few years back, they are gorgeous. It's a great place to check out a basketball game. But the hot shooting for New York. Indiana has seen that halftime lead evaporates as Shu comes up with the block. Viewers is all of these games, they, they just sort of count in another category as well. You're not playing extra games in the season. As Shu knocks down another three, brought a nice added level of intrigue here to the WNBA the last couple of years. Egbo going at Shu, and Shu comes up with the block. Shu has been a difference maker in the middle and offensively. 14 points here tonight, and there's Shu, who's got another career high. Copper trying to feed it inside to Yaru. Sabrina Ionescu. Inside to Shu. Oh, the turnaround. Han Shu. Sabrina Ionescu back on Friday in Indiana where she scored 13 points. Didn't have to be the main scorer. Had seven rebounds. Had six assists. Check that. Seven assists, six rebounds. Ionescu double team. Finds Han Shu. Puts it in and the foul. Han Shu going to the line. Azaree Stevens hands off to Alamont. Alamont feeding Stevens, blocked away by Shu. The screen and roll coverage has to change and keeping New York out of the paint. Natasha Howard, 12 points in that first quarter, leading all scores. Han Shu gets in on the action. Natasha Cloud is who hurt them in the first quarter. She's on the bench. You've got to take advantage if you're New York. Dangerfield wanted to get it to Han Shu, and the basketball finds its way to exactly where they wanted it to go. In the beginning, forcing the issue. It looks like they didn't know where to go. You didn't see plays like that. Shu getting in on the action from no one else than Maureen Johannes. I think she might be happier if this outcome is a New York Liberty win than she would have been with that triple-double and a loss. Han Shu keeps
keeping it high. Johannes finds Shu in that short corner area. Trying to stem the tide of a nice Seattle run. They're down by nine. On Shu, got it and put it back in and got fouled. And a Stewart into double figures. And Shu with some range. And she likes being able to move around the floor. At 6'10, sometimes coaches want you to hang out around the bucket. She said, no, I want to shoot the face up <laughs> jump shot. And that's good. And Howard who finishes. Sue Bird's final game, perhaps definitely your final regular season game playing in her hometown. Good work to get it inside. High ball game. Another nice pass from Wickham and this time the finish. Maya Caldwell checks out. Ryan Howard back in the ball game for Atlanta. Edie Richards misses the mark, but once again, another O board goes to shoot. She told us we would be doing her a disservice if we just allowed her to just shoot up on the outside. Complete package, but how about Shoe? Number two overall pick in 2019 out of Louisville. Missed significant time with long haul COVID symptoms and has come back with a vengeance. It really is good to see her back and she's already had to guard some of the better players on the floor. That's her specialty is defense. Yeah, that was really good defense and it is an unfortunate situation there. You get another shot here. Four offensive rebounds for Atlanta. Wallace on the drive, the reverse won't go. Batted out of bounds by Vaughn. And Esther left that one short. Rebound, McDonough. And she goes down and she's in a lot of pain. And Esther driving and finishing. Two. Johannes. Back to Sue. The lay in is good. Let him know, coach. Han Shu takes the three. She can make that. Here's Han Shu working against Cheney. Oh, the nice drop step there, baseline. Cambay's returns to replace Cheney. Shu cutting across the lane. Met there defensively by Cambay's and a nice touch by Han Shu. Sparks by three. The back door, and it was deflected right into the hands of UNESCO. Back come the Liberty the other way. UNESCO picked up by Cheney on the switch. Howard against the much smaller candidate. Tries the jump hook and gets the friendly bounce. Big time screen set there by Shu. Takes the feet inside against Campes. Oh, she flips up the jump hook. Now at age 20, just a veteran of the pro game. <laughs> well, and she has, her parents said that she has been watching the WNBA. Look at Han Shu. That perseverance by Dee Richards. Nobody was holding her down. I was watching that game, Baylor playing against UCF, oh. and when she checked in the game, I cried. Oh, absolutely. So Straight through, Han Shu. Does she miss? New York is red hot, especially from the three point line. Oh, give and go, the high pick and roll of a shoot. New York off ball screens and handoffs. Shu, help D coming over. Ionescu has enough time to stick it. Yep, they certainly do. It's all about the timing of putting it all together at the right time. And that was the first miss of the ball game for Han Shu. 17 seconds on the shot clock. Gray, eight points and three at three shooting. Two minutes, there goes Sabrina. Han Shu is not down low. She gets a post up right down here against Gray. Double team on Shu. Wow, that was pretty. Double up that lead. The Libs have an answer. Gray in front of 6'10", no. On shoe, very intimidating at the rim. And Diamond to Shields almost got it right. How back. about Han? I know. With the defensive play. And showing off a little handle, too. Shot clock into single digits. Dangerfield waiting for a screen, gets it back to shoe. On shoe, up and in. The past three years, so they've been close, but.
haven't been able to capitalize completely. Shoot on the right side and that rolls in. Somebody that a lot of people look up to just her time in the NBA and just a phenomenal player. And we've talked about the ability of number two, Laquana Williams for the Aces. I mean, she's put up 51 in a basketball game. On shoe from top of the key. Missed 15 of the first 17 games of this season with an injury. So constantly working her way back. The women's game at camp with your family, with your parents. These yeah. women always put on a show. To play it like a series, make adjustments game to game, see how your team responds, how they deal with Sabrina Ionescu from the outside, how they deal with you throwing things at them. Play songs, that's what she does. Shoots from the outside. Is a shepherd, the guard with the rebound blocked by Han Shu. And you can get whatever you want. That's what I like. Yeah, anything. Whatever type of food you like, it's here. And the players have talked about that. They appreciate all the options. Onion Wede. 6-0 Sun Run. There's the double on Ionescu that we expected. Shoe the dish and laid in by Howard. Han Shu, nicely done. Off balance, finding the cutter. 90 seconds to go in the first. D.D. Richards, Han Shu goes straight up, swish. That's pretty. Listen, get your tickets now, because I'm pretty sure it's going to be sold out. As much as we like folks that listen to us, Han Shu drains the long two. They still haven't been able to hit shots, though, from the, uh, the three-point line. Three of nine in this game. They go back to Breezy. We'll see if New York makes an adjustment. Jocelyn Willow be on the floor. Great to see her back in action. Next time we'll ask TFB to get it. TFB was right there. Yeah, that's true. Tarika, come on. <laughs> Tarika's got ups. On two and one. Inescu surveying. On two comes to screen. She's got the ability to knock those down. She is a large stretch five. You can gnaw at you. That's what the Sky are playing with right now. Han fed inside, and she converts. You know, immediately you knew that she was going to be a supremely talented player, but credit to her for how she has put together that type of career to this point. Room for error. When you're a new team, like you said, with the new coach, the, the margin for error is very thin. The execution has to be there, right behind and finish behind you that can get in your head some. And I think just early on, we're seeing such a high level of pushing the tempo, the way they're sharing the basketball, getting stops, allowing... Oh -ho! Danger field up top. Here's Joe Hannes. Hahn in the paint. Another! Give and go between Gardner and Stevens. Ju closed out well and got the block. Back comes Crystal Dangerfield pushing the pace. Dangerfield pocket feet down to Onion Ray, who finishes. We've seen that a couple of times now. Late hesitations prior to the layup. Fun to watch. Two at 6-10, drills a three. We're not talking enough about what Han Shu has brought. It, she just started walking down right in front of us. Didn't even look to see if it went in. Just go back to play defense. Automatic bucket if you're uh, in the Vandersloot quickly home. Johannes had a good opening half. Howard double, shoe cutting, and finishing. I mean, Rene back up top, Sammy Whitcomb. has been hitting the big three in the first quarter. Han taking her first shot attempt from the free throw line. And Han Shu getting on the board. Ten to shoot. Yonescu controlling it for New York. Han takes the three and hits. Like we said, entered today with the eight seed attached to their name. So that could change in a matter of 40 minutes, as we've seen. Just active defensively, the Sparks. Honshu keeps the possession alive. Natasha Howard converts. This is the first secondary court in the WNBA among the current teams. How big is it of you? And speak of your favorite player, Sabrina Yonescu, with the big three-pointer. Her third three-pointer of the game. We've got two teams that are competing for a spot. That's what makes this game so much fun. Well, if 
you don't have any indication of how close the standings are. Natasha Howard gets another one down low. The Sparks are 12 and 17 in eighth place. Well, staying poised even in the scramble situation. So Neko Gumake dro drove to the basket there. And even though you were in your help side defense, Han Shu from the corner. That New York has its second unit out there, yep. but the Sparks still have a number of starters. Four, three of their starters on the floor. Dangerfield gets free. Taking a page out of Sabrina Ionescu's book with that beautiful in and out tight handle. Crystal Dangerfield can be so great in this league with her skill set. You don't want to force shots as you try to get back in this basketball game. And that's something that we've seen from New York at times, settling for jump shots, taking bad shots. That's a good one in the middle of the paint, turnaround jumper, no hand up. Cindy Brogdello telling her team to run. Play with pace. Yonescu finds Han Shu, catch high, keep high. Lady Liberty off and running. Johannes feeds Han Shu for two. Sparks ended that third quarter, missing its last 10 shots. New York continues. Her husband Mike, yep, of the Diamondbacks. Yeah, very sad. Han Shu off the window. That what a nice. pretty shot. <laughs> I mean, he got deep in the lane. And Mercury had led by as many as 15. Han Shu, nice mid range. Such a soft touch. Johannes, Laney, Han Shu, Whitcomb, and Onyanwere. 6'10, Han Shu on the block. That is pretty. It's been a 9 0 run for New York as there have been five straight empty possessions for Phoenix. Turner on the take, ball is stripped by Han Shu. Mabry went over the screen, that allowed Han Shu to go right down the right side. Seven to shoot, 20.1 left. Whitcomb triggers it in, beautiful pass. Han Shu with a big sweeping left hand, that's what she does. Dad Lewis, Ma Martins, and UNESCO with a three. Johannes. The three, buried. Anya Wade. Outstanding person to talk to and a great official. Here is Burton this time. UNESCO covered her up. T Mac, quick move. Hot shoe with a rejection. Eight to shoot. Shoe, the floater. Bam! is open. Well, you know this Liberty team is going to come out and play hard and compete as Han Shu misses the shot and gets her own rebound and gets the put back. Not Silman try to get her hands on it. Sabrina instead grabs it down. Han Shu. Beautiful pass. Howard and Caldwell, the two of them have really stepped up here to stay in the ball game. Both of those players in double figures. Han Shu! She had a great line where she said, I know I have a lot more yesterdays than tomorrows, but she really has not given it any thought during the season about whether or not this is the end. The Shu finishes on the interior. Last year, Dana Evans was able to take up the role, play just enough minutes to support Vandersloot. But Alan Long has been terrific. Is Onyanwere able to finish on a nice delivery from Shu? An 11-0 Chicago run. The whole game has been a run as Han Shu hits the three. Yeah. You know, you, you love a coach who's going to be honest with you, but gives you some motivation for how you're supposed to play it out. Han Shu banks it in. You also have Olaf Lang, who is now an assistant with New York, who coached with James for two seasons here in Chicago. James Wade said, hey, you win a road game, a decisive elimination game, you get a lot of momentum from that moving forward in your playoff run if you can pull it off. We're not only going to punch you back, we're just going to keep on slugging. <laughs> Both teams have emptied the bench. Great ovation here at Barclays for the New York starters.